Hello, welcome to the Selenium training. In this example, I'll take up the topic of downloading and installing or configuring Selenium. Right? After I've downloaded and configured Selenium, you can also see the example on web drivers, Selenium RC over here. Okay? Now, there are two aspects. One is configuring web driver and the second aspect is configuring RC. RC is the older version, web driver is the new version. Fine. So let us look at web driver first. To configure RC and to configure web driver, they, the two steps are different. Fine. Some people make a mistake of saying that I need to install Selenium. There is nothing known as installing Selenium. You just need to have the latest jars of Selenium and you just need to configure Selenium inside your Eclipse project. Okay. For example, inside Eclipse, I make a new project called Web Driver Project. Okay. And in this project, I want to configure Eclipse. Sorry, I want to configure Selenium. Right. So, in order to configure Selenium in this, that is Selenium web driver, I will have to download the web driver jars from the Selenium site. What are jar files? What are jars? I have taken the concept of jar files in detail while explaining the module number 7. That is the concept of jar file. Jar file is something which contains lot of class files in it in Java. Right. So, you go to Google and simply write download selenium search for it go to the first search link which appears and this will obviously be from the seleniumhq.org which is the owner of selenium and from here you can download the java client version the latest version right now is 2.8 you can download it by clicking on this link the java doc represents the documentation for this fine and when you click on download, a zip file gets downloaded. In my PC, I am I am having 2.5 with me, and these are the jar files of 2.5. When you download, you get a zip file having the jar files. Okay, the same jar files with like this, these ones. Fine. Now you open your Eclipse project, go to the project properties, and go to Java build path. Okay. Over here, click on Libraries tab and you will find a button called Add External Jars on the right side. You click on this button and go to your place where the jar files have been downloaded. Out here in my PC, they are in this folder. You select all the jar files, click on Open and add, the, add all the jar files in the project properties. Fine. So this is done. You see that in this project all these jar files have been included. So that means that Selenium has been configured with your project. Now you can write a Selenium script, use the classes from these jar files to open a browser to do the testing and all everything. Okay. I have taken up a small example in this Selenium web driver example to show you how to configure, how to configure and run a sample web driver code which opens up Firefox and logs you into a Gmail account or something like that. Fine. Now, about configuring Selenium RC. Selenium RC is the older version and it has been removed or it has been deprecated. Okay, the technical term is deprecated. Okay, you can download it from this link if you want to. You might want to learn Selenium RC because many of the companies in the market are still using Selenium RC because the systems have already been developed. The architecture of RC and WebDriver is very different. So you go to this link and you will see this Selenium Remote Control 1.0.3.zip. Okay, and we just downloaded WebDriver which was 2.8. Both of them are completely different. You don't need to learn. Selenium RC if you want to learn web driver. If you want to learn web driver then you can simply download the web driver jars and start working on web driver. There is no need to learn Selenium RC. I am explaining configuring Selenium RC just because some people might use this in their project. 
the older version fine you click on this link and you see this message this file has been deprecated another file would probably be better do you want to continue that means this this version is the older version fine you click on ok and save this file I have already downloaded this zip file in my computer folder This is the zip file selenium, Java, selenium remote control 1.0.3.zip You extract it and after extracting it you will find many jar files again So the, this is the java client driver over here for this Inside this the jar files of older version of selenium are present Ok All you need to do again is that You need to make a new project And I will make a new project in eclipse Name it rc project that is the older the project with older version fine and you go to the properties of this project it's the same thing you just need to add the jar files of rc that means rc has got its own set of jar files this is the this folder over here selenium java client driver will hold the jar files for rc and you include the jar files in your project properties fine so these are the jar files over here ok and now selenium rc has also been configured in this project so this is my web driver project having the new set of jar files which are from selenium 2 and this is the rc project which is having the old set of jar files from selenium 1 it's completely up to you which one you need to learn